All right, once again, what we wanna do is find the intersection of two graphs. So basically you have one line here, another line here, and we're trying to find that point of intersection, the point they share. Now, notice that if we have two equations, we can add them and get a third true equation. For example, two plus three is equal to five, true. One plus two is equal to three, true. If we add them, two and one gives us three. Three plus two gives me five, and five and three gives me eight. Is this equation true? Yes. So we realize, hey, if you have two equations, you can add them and get a third equation, and it will be true. So we can add these two guys. I have two equations. I have three X minus Y is six, and I also have the equation two X plus Y is four. Notice if I add these, I'll get a third equation, which must be true. However, when I add them, notice that these do what? They go away. And you're left with, you eliminated the Y's. You're left with 5X equals 10. You now can divide by 5, and you now know X's value must be 2 to make those equations true. And if X is 2, how do we find Y? We'll just plug back into either one of them. I'm going to plug into the bottom one. 2X plus Y. Whoops. Messed that up, didn't we? 2 times X, which is 2, plus Y is equal to 4. So 4 plus what gives me 4? 0. So Y is equal to 0. We subtracted 4 from both sides. I know these guys intersect at the ordered pair 2, 0, when X is 2 and Y is 0. Notice if you plug 2 and 0 in here, true, 3 times 2 minus 0 is 6, and 2 times 2 plus 0 is 4. Yes. That works. We can actually simply add them together and get the one of the variables, whether it's X or Y or A or B or somebody, to disappear. The key is to set it up so that you can eliminate one of the variables. Okay. So let's say we have this. So we're looking at this guy and we're like, hey, we have two equations. We want to find the intersection. Well, right away, we can do what? Add them together. 2x and 3x is 5x. Those go away. Equals 20. I now divide. I get x is 4. So we use this idea of elimination when we don't have it of the form y equals. We're not going to use substitution. And okay? we're sort of in standard form, to be honest. Um, so we get x is 4. How am I going to get y? I'll plug back into one of the equations. I'll go to the top equation. 2 times 4 plus 2y equals 11. 8 plus 2y is 11. Subtract 8, you're going to get 3. And then divide by 2, you're going to get 1 and a half. So these intersect at 4, 1 and a half. Okay? If you plug in 4 for the x, 1 and a half for the y in both these, it'll make both equations true. And that's what we're searching for, the value of x and y that will make both equations true, that point of intersection. Now, what about this guy? Because if I add them right away, I'm going to have 8x plus 2y equals 18, and that doesn't do me any good. The whole point is to get things to be eliminated. So what are we going to do? Hmm, it'd be great if that were minus 4y down in the bottom. Well, let's make it become that. What would I need to multiply every piece in here by in order to make that a 4y? Multiply by 2. That would make it 10x. That would make the minus 4y and 2 times 8, 16. Top equation just stays as it is. So all we did is we manipulated the bottom equation so that our y's in this case would go away. Add them together, 13x. That goes away. 26 divided by 13. You have your x value. You eliminated the y's, and so now you just have x's, and you got now x's value of 2. Go back to, I'm going to go back to the top one. You can go back to either one, but the top one looks easiest. 6 plus 4y is 10. Subtract 6. And you're going to get y is 1. So here are two solutions. Technically, they are crossing at the ordered pair 2 comma 1. Okay, that looks pretty good. What about this? Hmm. Well, let's see. I need to either get rid of my x's or get rid of my y's because adding them right now doesn't do you any good. 7x plus 5y equals 33. Psh, doesn't do you anything. So you have to decide, do I want to get rid of my x's or I want to get rid of my y's? It doesn't matter. I'm going to, let's just get rid of our y's. 
So I need what two Y and three Y. What could they both become? They could both become six Ys. Now I do need one of them to become negative and one positive because we like to add these guys together. So let's multiply the top by negative three. That'll give you negative six X minus six Y equals negative 30. The bottom, well, what do we need to multiply? We need this to be a six Y. So let's multiply by a two. 10x plus 6y equals 46. Add them together. What do we get? 4x. And here we get 16. Divide by 4. x is 4. How do we get the other value? Well, just plug into one of the equations. I'll do the top one. 2 times x we just found to be 4. Plus 2y equals 10. 8 plus 2y is 10. So 2y subtract 8. You got 2. Y is 1. They intersect at the ordered pair for 1. That'll make both equations true. That is the point, the X and the Y value, that make the top equation true and the bottom equation true. We do this, we say this is solving it by elimination because we're eliminating one of the variables.